right then, I'm... Instinct told me to come this way. I could have gone the other way. I've got a feeling there was an avoidance of the cows deliberately, like a track going down that way towards the farm, down there. But look, this has recently had the cows taken out and they've been raking the land, look. You can see lots of cow slurry. This field gets very, very muddy by cows. And I think that they've only taken them out recently because all the cow pack back there was probably just a couple of days old. Not fresh, not dead fresh, but you can see they've been scattering. See, look at that. That's just a couple of days old. They've only recently taken them out, I'd say. So, this, like I say, this field has always been thick mud. I walked across this when it was not like this, not churned up like this. Um, you can smell the silage. So, so we've done basically everyone. I've managed to walk across without having to go back. Lost no time. I did want to walk down through the farm though. Um, it's a route I will do eventually. But what I'm going to be doing is just taking the little lane. It's not going to be a lot in it at all. These routes run parallel. And as you can see there, there are still cows even here. So how do I know I wouldn't have had to walk through that field of cows? You know what I mean? There's no guarantee that I wouldn't have had to walk through them. So I, my instinct said, do the old route, the route you always do. But I've just got this feeling that the, the track is near, if I zoom in, let me just zoom into the corner of that field over there a minute, see if there's a stile. There's somewhere over there. There should really, yeah, that, that could be a solar or a gate. There should be a way in to avoid those clouds. There, there's probably a lane, which I can't see, but near that row of that wall and that hedge, I reckon there's a, a lane. Right, I'm going to turn off again now, folks. This is the Somerset countryside. It smells of silage. I cannot capture the silage for you. You can hear the wind, but across here there's normally a track that takes you to that corner over there. And those cows over there, it's a good job I didn't decide to come from Cheddar and have to walk through fields and fields of cows. Uh, I'm not saying that this is the end of the cow risk, because I have got other areas to walk, um, which I still don't know if I should be safe as I approach Eber Gorge later, a bit later. But it seems to me, because of the mild weather, I've seen lots and lots and lots of cows out. Because of the mild weather. So, they normally get taken in round about now. They could, that lot could have been in here. Right, over and out, take a picture. Right, folks, that's the set of fields crossed. Like I say, normally I would go across over to a stile there and then cr right over by the trees, right in the distance, back towards Draycott and Cheddar. But today we're doing pretty. I'm hoping the church will be open. We're going across the fields. And here's a little narrow track. Somebody walking along there now. Someone who didn't want to come across the fields, probably. There's some sort of lot of work going on there. A couple of big cows and calves in there. This little lane would just take me down to the village. Expecting bad weather. 
I think so, but it's supposed to be all right until tomorrow night. Eh? Good you. Yeah, never mind, they'll take you in the stable soon. You'll be able to sit indoors. You got your babies? You got your little babies there? Oh, they're sweet, aren't they? They'll be big by the spring. I'll see you later. You better go in the warm sun with some footies. Yeah, look at you, our little family. Let me take a picture of you. Right, back on again. I just took some pictures of the cows sat down. I mean, they're probably saying, oh, we'll be inside for the winter soon. We'll be on to have some hay to eat and we'll be warm. They're making us stay out longer because there's lots of grass to eat. Now, a bit further on up here, there'll be the exit from the farm of the other track. If you remember further back in uh, another video, I showed two stiles close to each other. Um, it looked a little bit hodgepodge, the cow. Like I would have to weave in and out lots of cows. So, a um, little bit of hill here. The um, pretty barrows, there's two of them sticking up over there on the hill. The church will be down there, which I'm heading for soon. I actually quite like walking these little lanes. Um, these little lanes have been here for a long time. And uh, I'm just trying to think where I would have come out at that farm though, because there's a set of cows there that I passed and this doesn't seem to this bit here doesn't seem to link up with the that close to the farm I think the farm's up here I have done it I have done that track God I hope it don't rain I, I, did, I didn't bring the umbrella I was going to and I thought oh cut down on weight it said it was a hold off until tomorrow. So, uh, but you can get caught out on the hills. So this is all around the pretty area. There's somebody else not far behind me with a red coat on. Right then, I'm leaving the village behind. It used to be a pub at the top there. It's a um, good old pub on the green that was. Especially when they had the pretty market, the pretty fair, famous fair, and that pub, I can't believe that, that pub, so central to the village, well it's not been there for ages, so it's a pub. Swildon's Cavern is a, a swallet, underground cavern that is not far from here, which we will pass later, here's like a plaque to it. I've recorded all this in the past. Swoden's Hall in relation to Pretty Village. We've got various different things. I've, I've walked all around all this in the past. This is just a refresher today. Like I said, it's not very nice weather. It really isn't. Um, that's a sheep pen. It's made up of layers and layers of like fencing, if you like, that they put up as pens. I don't know if that still happens, if they still do that. But they decorate it with poppies and um, First World War soldiers um, sometimes. Like I said, when I get up here in a minute by the church that would be the first time that um, I've been he here since I had Alberta because I used to drive here you see I used to come straight from Weston I would have been here ages ago if I'd um because what I've got to remember I might have over underestimated the time this is going to take me I might have underestimated the time um, but basically once I've done the church I'll be heading towards Wookie Hole and 
Ever Gorge first, then Wookie Hole. And uh, we've got until at least, six, let's say, half past five before the last bus leaves. I can just see the church there, which I want to go to, otherwise I can go straight down there. If I didn't want to go to the church, I could go straight down there now to the cavern. But I'm going to go up here first, just have a quick say hello to the church and take a photo. Um, it's going to be a bit of a sad moment, because like I said, this is where I used to park Alberta. She'd stay up here all day with a hot flask of tea ready and cake, change of clothing and shoes. So I normally always got muddy when I came here. And that could still happen yet. This is a little lane up to the church. Up to the, the school. It's half term now. So there'd be no children at the school today. There are the old hill I've got to do. I think there's a clock on the church. I'll just tell you a new thing. I've bought... I had um, an O2 little mobile camera, a good one. It's one of those clam types with a nice strong lid. It's just small, go in your hand. I put £10 in it and then it died on me. They said they'd removed the classic pay-as-you-go version. But you think they would have let me have my money's worth first, wouldn't you? I am going to complain about it. I haven't yet. But I will be. But anyway, I've gone with O2 for the network. I should have gone with BT. I uh, might still swap to BT yet. I don't know how complicated it is. Anyway, I don't really use a mobile, but I've now got a smart, not a super duper smartphone, a basic smartphone with a camera, video player, apps. I've still got to work out how to use them. Um, by the time I'd got anywhere near finding the first bus service on my app, the bus had arrived. Um, but I did get on it the other day. It showed me exactly where my bus was, which was reassuring. Basically, the way forward is to get these phones with apps. And uh, I've got one that, um, you know, some, that some of us have got their little bus here, a little camper van. Yeah, it does maps. All sorts. And this is where I used to park Alberta. Either where that one is or here. I used to park Alberta here. It is a bit of a sad moment. Because I think that might have been one of her last ever last journeys with me, apart from taking her for the MOT where she failed and then I couldn't get her back. I had another month on her, but they didn't let me have her back. They said she's failed, but I thought, well, I've still got a month's MOT from last year. It was a rip-off. But, of course, Alberta had been vandalised several times, and when they removed her rubbers, her insulation rubbers, that was the end of her. She then went uh, damp. She started to rust quicker. And I was... She was in need of loving care. Uh, to be quite honest. Anyway, that's Alberta and this is what I'm talking about her because this is where I used to park her and I'd be able to see her parked there by that tree. When I was coming back across the fields I could see my Alberta. Alright, I'm just going to turn off for a minute folks. This is the school at Pretty. It's half term. 